Hi, welcome to the Fern Bacon Math tutorial page. Today I will be presenting a tutorial on Pre-Algebra's Objective 1.1D, which is adding and subtracting integers with more than two terms. The first example I'm going to show you is going to be negative 7 plus 10 minus 3 plus 2. So I'm first going to start with, with simplifying this expression using a method we call drawing integers. So I do this method using a t-chart. So a t-chart is an organizational tool. Um, it also stands for a term chart. But on the left side are going to be where I'm going to have the negatives, and the right side is where I'm going to have the positives. What I like to do is I'm going to identify um, each term. So for example, my first term is negative 7. So on the negative side, I'm going to go ahead and draw out seven negatives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to represent that number. I'm going to move on to my next term, which is positive 10. So on the positive side, I want to go ahead and draw 10 positives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My next term, my third term, is negative three. So on the negative side, I'm going to go ahead and draw three additional negative signs. And lastly, I have positive 2. And so for positive 2, I'm going to draw two additional positive signs. Okay, in order to simplify this expression, I'm going to go ahead and make zero pairs for every pair of negative and positive terms I have. So I'm going to go ahead and make a zero pair there. Second one, third one, fourth one, all the way until I have no more negatives to be able to pair up with my positives one last one there. Okay, the sign which I have left over represents my answer. So in this case, I have left over positives. So my answer will be a positive. And because I have two left over positives, my answer is going to be a positive two. So this, again, is the first method we have called drawing integers. The second method I'm going to show you today is I'm going to use the same expression. Okay, so this time I'm going to write the exact same expression, which was negative 7 plus 10 minus 3 plus 2. But this time, we won't be able to just do this on a t-chart without actually drawing out our integers, and we're going to use the number to just represent that many either negatives or positives. So once again, like in my previous example, we're going to make a t-chart, or our term chart, with negatives on the left and positives on the right. I'm again going to identify whether each term is either negative or positive. My first term is negative 7, so we're going to go ahead and place that on the negative side. My second term is positive 10, so I'll put that on the positive side. Third term is negative 3, so we'll put that on the negative side. And lastly, I have positive 2, so I'm just going to put a positive 2. One thing to make sure I'm aware of is that when I have multiple terms, I want to make sure I'm lining up the place value. So here I've lined up my ones place so that when I make my total, I am making sure that I'm adding the correct place value. So right now we want to be able to compare to really see which sign is going to have our leftover. So am I going to have um, additional negatives or additional positives after removing all of my zero pairs? It's a little bit difficult to do if I have more than one number or more than one term listed under each category. So I'm going to go ahead and total, total my total number of negatives and my total number of positives. Here I have seven negatives and three more negatives. That gives me a total of ten negatives. On the positive side, I have ten positives and two additional positives. That's going to give me a total of twelve positives. We know that the sign of our answer is really determined by what is going to be the leftover sign once we've removed all zero pairs. That's dictated to us by which has more. So the negatives actually have 10, the positives actually have 12. Because there's additional positives, my, the sign of my answer is going to be a positive because that's where my leftover is going to be. When making zero pairs, like we did in the previous example, I know that I can only make a maximum of 10 individual zero pairs because my smaller amount of a sign is actually the negatives, which is only 
10. So I can only make 10 zero pairs. So I can pair 10 negatives with 10 of the 12 positives. So if I remove those 10 pairs that I was able to make, I know I only have two additional positives left over. Therefore, my answer is positive 2. Okay, I'm going to show you one last example in this tutorial. This time, I'm just going to give you a new problem, and we're just going to practice it in this method where we just write the physical number and we do not draw out our negatives and positives. So this time I'm going to start with the expression negative 10 plus 28 minus 23 plus 11 plus 7. And this time we want to deal with a little bit larger numbers to really show the benefit of why I don't want to draw out my integers every time, but really understand what's happening and how I can use still the method of grouping on a t-chart or a term chart using my negatives on the left side, my positives on the right side. So we're going to go ahead and identify again on each term. If I look at my first term, that's a negative 10, so I'm going to go ahead and place that on my negative side on my t-chart. My second term is positive 28, so I'm going to go ahead and write that on the positive side. My third term is negative 23. I'm going to go ahead and record that on the negative side. My fourth term is positive 11. So I'm going to go ahead and record that on the positive side. And my last term is positive 7. So I'm going to also record that on the positive side. Again, remembering to line up my place value so all my ones place digits are lined up. Again, it's hard to see which sign has more or which sign has, do I have more negatives or do I have more positives? So I'm going to take the total of each side so I can just compare one total number. So if I total up my negatives, I have a total of 33 negatives and I have a total of 46 positives. Now if I'm looking at my totals, easy to compare which one I actually have more of. If I have 33 negatives and 46 positives, I do have additional positives. So after making zero pairs, I know that my leftover will be positives. If I think about individual zero pairs I'm taking out, such as when I was drawing integers, I can take out a total of 33 zero pairs because I can match up 33 negatives with 33 of the 46 positives. I just want to know how many is left over after I take those zero pairs away. So let's do this math on the side. And I wind up discovering I have 13 total positives left over, leaving me with the answer of positive 13. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have additional questions, feel free to leave us a comment on our YouTube page, and we'll try to give you additional help. Thank you.